Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for the sign of Gemini. Keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Gemini. If you like a personal reading, there's going to be two options in the description down below. The book of personal reading. You'll also find a third link there that'll be joined my spiritual group. It's for people who are into spirituality and the spirit world. So if you're into those things, go ahead and join that group. Meet more people like yourself. And you can also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon and Ko-Fi. Go support me on Ko-Fi, help me reach the next level so we can get another deck. And if you'd like to make donations, donation, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here. So, Gemini, let us see what spirit has in store for yourself as a message for you and what's happening. All right. So, let's see for Gemini. Well, this isn't actually for spirit, but these are kind of like love cards. So, I guess let's see what's happening in love. All right, what do we have that's fallen out? Time. Right. Time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. All right, so there's some, there's like some sort of situation in love where you're trying too hard. It's time to give it time. Let it unfold naturally. All right, we have the eye. Okay. The eye, and we have the tree. A reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all work out for the best. So, okay, so stop. Gemma, stop trying. Give each other some space. Okay? Everything's gonna work out. Maybe your person just needs some space. Maybe you need some space. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other and your relationship will man magically transform. All right, so it, okay. All right. Giving each other some space. Try not to criticize each other. Not, try not to insult each other, okay? Accept each other and, and things are going to transform. Once you get out of that, like, you know, that, that person did that, okay? They're a terrible person. Get out of that, okay? And kind of accept them for their, their differences, all right? And love them. And you'll actually be surprised at how things change because now we're getting on the negativity. Okay. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So doing what feels right to you. You have a new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. All right. We have a new beginning. New adventures here. We have new things coming into your life. Gemini. All right. We have surrender. All right, so it's telling you to surrender here. At times, you must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all work out. All right, so letting go of the old. All right, stop trying. So that new things can come in. This can be new people, new places, new things, new businesses, new opportunities. Okay? A multitude of things. We have a secret admirer. Okay, so we have someone here who secretly admires you. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Right. We have, look deep within your heart and you'll feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. You have a secret admirer, Gemini, who has some very deep love for you. All right. Kind of like a crush or something. You know, whatever. So, it says, emotions are a natural necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. All right, so let it go of resentment. All right. Stop criticizing. Maybe someone you already know here. So you can see things clearly. When it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. All right, so there's no wrong choices when you're in your heart space. If you could do anything, what would it be? See? Answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. See, in your heart you already know. What is right? So that answer already dwells in your heart. If you could do anything, what would it be? For the heart is a gateway to the soul. See, in making decisions from the heart, there's no right or wrong choice. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So this person here that you kind of like have some space from, you'll always be spiritually united. 
card. We have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. See, your relationship is going to be healing. It's going to be healed. It's going to be transforming. Let go of the negative. Letting go of the resentment. We have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust in your heart and follow and continue to follow its guidance. See, something you manifested from the heart, something you you wanted to do from the heart, it's going to be soon becoming reality. All right, it's going to be a miracle. We have trust. Transformation occurs. Through acceptance. See, that's why we're talking about acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it'll automatically transform. You have a soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they'll manifest physically. Alright? So, your soulmate is already around you spiritually. Manifesting miracles. All right, Gemini. So you have many different soulmates here. This could be a soulmate that you're separate from. This could be a secret admirer, or it could be someone else coming towards you. But either way, the thing is, you'll know because they'll be approaching you. Something you've already manifested. It says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change, which is beyond control. Okay, so once again, we're talking about acceptance, accepting the current situation, not trying to change it, kind of just let you know that's the way it is. It's the way it is. All right, these will be the last cards we take. Let there be a closeness between you, but always give each other space. And once again, space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. See space alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now's the time to give to yourself, Gemini. See, now's the time to focus on yourself. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose. Okay, so you may not understand why this all happened, but there's a higher purpose to this. So the events in your life through the turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. See, a blessing is soon to be revealed. I feel like it's something new coming your way. It's a miracle. All right. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. All right. Be aware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another, also the qualities you possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like, but also your own reflection. See, the things you, you don't like about your person, you're, that's also your own. See, they're your reflection. Gemini. So things you like about them, you possess those qualities. The things you don't like about them, you also possess those qualities. All right? So that's what it's telling you to accept. All right? They're just a reflection of your own. Because they're your twin flame. Ain't that funny? Twin flames. Your passion ignites. Your friendship. Nurture the bonds of, relate, or of a friendship within your relationship and your love life will improve dramatically. All right? So... In your relationship here with this person, focus on the friendship first, all right? And then your relationship's going to improve with them. Don't try to just be all relationship. Try to like, you be their best friend, all right? So it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into life, creating room for new possibilities for your life. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. All right, see, your trends, see, now what we've, we've done, what I've been saying, all right, been accepting, letting go, letting go of the resentment of whatever they may have done, just calls the space, all right, allowing that space to happen, focusing on yourself, all right, and I do, I do feel like, I do feel like they'll always be around you in spirit, and I do feel like they will be talking to you again at some point, but focusing on the friendship, in that relationship, found their best friend, and then, then, really, once you've done all this, love is going to transform them. You have something new coming into it. Like I said, a new person, 
you play a new thing, you adventure, travel, home, whatever. This goes on. Either way, it's a big blessing and it's a miracle that you've already manifested. So, it's messages for you now to get some room to chance yourself. You have Bastet, you have Hathor, you have Cancer, the Zodiac sign. So you get those placements, or maybe your person here is a Cancer. You have the Sun and Moon Dragon, alright, which is State of Balance. You have Sun God Ra. You have this Jellyfish Sea Dragon, alright, the Jellyfish is Reiki Healing and Fertility. There's a big breakthrough there, okay? There is success and there's movement, alright? So, Gemini. That's all I have for you. Like I said, if you're interested in a personal reading, there's going to be two options in the description down below. Both the personal reading. If you'd like to join that spiritual group, there's going to be a third link there. I'll also find a bunch of other things there in the description. If you want to see more content, like, subscribe. Bye, guys.